obviously it is of course man you, you you straight away going to think about it it's venice right venice is an absolutely um beautiful gorgeous like floating city in the entire world man everyone want to go to venice it's so beautiful man the architecture is beautiful the color of the building is just amazing i love it man Let me tell you, you see, travelling excites us. It enlightens us. It makes us see over and beyond. Learning about new culture, exposing to new traditions and ways of life. But we fail to repudiate to the fact that immense amounts of tourists flooding into well-known tourist attraction, leaving nothing but destroying, ruin, and leaving nothing good behind but complete devastating effects. It's crazy. It's sad. So sad what other tourism has done to these places. Places like Maya Bay in Thailand. Venice in Italy Boraca in the Philippines Bali in Indonesia and London, England I live in one of the most visited city, exciting city, I would say, mm, maybe not, because of Brexit, but other than that, let me tell you London, it's amazing, but, as you already know, London, it's expensive, but, it still doesn't discourage tourists coming here, they still come, by the millions, so, living in the heart of London, may sound also good, and bumping into tourists, has become a second nature to me. Everywhere I go, everywhere you look around, you can find tourists everywhere. They're everywhere, invading my space. Even when I'm about to try some fish and chips. Bloody tourists queuing in, making the entire process for me tedious. So tedious, crazy, and even coming from work. I'm slapped on the face with heavy traffic and packed bars full of tourists crazy it's just crazy so stay tuned and find out about why all these places has been ruined by over tourism and why malaysia is not yet ruined oh my god would you take a look at there you can see let me show you it's a lot of tourists like people so i'm in one of the most touristy area in london as you can see all these people, they're going to walk past, can you see them? That's really cool man, but anyways, um, I live in London, um, of course man, I can't escape the amount of tourists that actually visit this place, can you see them? Look a lot there man, so of course man, they're just going to the London Eye area, just to explore and of course man, tell stories, and maybe some people, they're not even going to be in that moment, you know what I mean, so they're just going to spend more time on their phone and taking photos, instead of like being there and experiencing things like you know what I mean? We're taking photos and sharing to whoever you want to share it to. I think I'm doing the same thing like sharing to you guys. I think sometimes sharing is good, but if you share over sharing, it's not good. Because the more you share, the more you're just out of place, you know? Like, of course, man, you're not actually soaking into the culture and experiencing things that is so, so worth experiencing. So you're just wasting your time, just like trying to please someone out there. But this video is not about 
pleasing someone on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or whatsoever is about over tourism. So five places that have been ruined by over tourism and not Malaysia. I love Malaysia, as you already know. I freaking love Malaysia. Right? Malaysia is a place for me. I love the culture. So I can see for tuning into my video. But anyways, um, pretty much like, let me tell you, right? I live in one of the most iconic city in the world, man. London is chaotic. So I can't escape away from when it comes to tourists. Tourists are everywhere. Well, it's a good and bad thing about it, of course, but the good thing is more money coming to the country, more investment. Of course, you know, London, is, England is very rich, it's a very rich place, man. Let's think about all the footballers, man. The professional footballers playing the Premier League, man. They're all, literally, they're all millionaires. They think about the billionaires in this country as well. It's ridiculous. So many job opportunities, there's so many things going on, and that is so good about the country. But when there's so many tourists, and that's absolutely ridiculous, man. So, like, just take for instance, if other tourism, like, literally, you go on a train, the train during the time yeah on a Saturday and Sunday literally is bad it's so packed man like it, during summer is the worst don't even take the train just bloody walk just walk everywhere because like tourists you, you, they're gonna be in your face literally they're gonna be literally in your face so it's all worth that just walk man and luckily London is a bloody walkable city what's that oh, oh I, th I thought the police are coming for me but I thought the police London like literally um, it's very very crowded when it comes to tourism man. and traffic is ridiculous literally on the train the buses can be so packed as well during the weekend so everything can be a very long tedious process pretty much so it's it's a bit chaotic so i always went to the other the, the other city the other place that has been over has been ruined by over tourism right so this other city is of course man you, you you straight away going to think about it it's venice right venice is an absolutely and um, beautiful gorgeous like floating city in the entire world man everyone want to go to venice it's so beautiful man the architecture is beautiful the color of the building is just amazing i love it man but the thing is i've never been there and the the, the, the water uh, it used to be very 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 blue and stuff like that but now it's just so polluted you know what i mean and also the cruise ship the cruise ship coming in you know what i mean the big cruise ship man literally just like destroying the the floating city like i might bring in a lot of you're bringing a lot of like tourists like coming into the island so pretty much like that means like um the amount of people that are coming in there like it's destroying like the reputation of the place and of course like it's very small so the more people come in the price increase and the locals can't afford the where to stay or things to things to eat like they find it really difficult like, to survive pretty much so um that is the one thing that the, the downside about tourism when it comes to like venice so but the thing is the good thing is like the the locals there they're fighting for the fight to stay venice so literally i think they did a fantastic job man trying to save their their beloved city because the prices of the hotels and stadium accommodation it's ridiculous i've read a newspaper pretty much like other tourism is very very ridiculous but it would destroy a place in a, in a short space of time literally so is that the thing is that when the place gets super super famous and it just like and the, the reputation will absolutely get destroyed get battered like to the ground so yeah you know, but there's always time to save venice like like the locals are doing now so of course they're, they're protesting like to ban like cruise ships i suppose like that is actually working out huh? like of course man they're trying to get toys to get out of the, the, the city so they're trying to ban the amount of people that can actually visit toys trying to limit it they're trying to cut it down so uh, that's the way uh, to tackle tourism as well so uh, hopefully and that will work out in the coming years and this one of course man thailand i've been to thailand as well i love it i've been to phuket i've been to fifi island i've been to krabi all those places are very very touristy man especially in pp island pp island my god man i was the first time i went there i was expecting a bit more but man just seen tourists everywhere man i feel like <laughs> i feel like i'm in in a western country because like most of the people i met there are pretty much like westerners so it's very hard for me to like get um connected to the locals like trying to talk to the local because like you can't find it there it's just like because the locals is just busy and working and working and stuff like that trying to please the tourists so um which is a bit sad as well so all the tourism there is ridiculous the price is just crazy in thailand like all the tourism like the people get drunk 
they go to like PT Island because it's a party island, then they get drunk, so they literally pollute the, the beach as well. Plastic waste, it's crazy, it's ridiculous, man. And of course, man, that actually led to uh, one of the islands in Thailand got shot down. Maya Bay, Maya Bay got shot down, you know, where the movie where the beach was, was made. So, literally, that stunning beach got shot down because of over tourism. Like, literally, the, the, the coral reef like, literally got destroyed, got battered. We can't even find some of those like species like, in the water. It's all so sad, man. Like, the way we are destroying our planet, we're destroying it, and we also know it, but we, we're so, so behind like, to solve the problem, quickly tackle it. But eventually, um, we'll, we'll, we'll figure things out. But in Thailand, like, I think like the government's actually take it, like, took a very um, huge step, like, to solve the problem instantly, like, banning tourists not to go there, like, they try to, to just ban it, like, not to go to Maya Bay, like, just ban this, like, ne never come here, never come here, we need to risk, we need to rescue, like, the species, like, in this beautiful tropical, uh, beautiful tropical, um, beach. So, of course, man, some of the highlands uh, in Thailand are still stunning, but the more tourists go to those places, and um, if the tourists are not educated when it comes to environmental um, factors by like keeping the environment clean by not like, dropping or lit littering or dropping plastic into the water they're like, getting drunk and misbehaving like banging in public and all those sort of things like if tourists like can improve on that of course man like it will absolutely um of course the place won't be destroyed so of course like, i'm moving to my other um, places that has been ruined about over tourism is Bali. Yeah, Bali, man. Oh my god. I've never been to a place where at the same time I love it and I hate it. Literally, Bali is the first time. I really love it, man. But the amount of tourists, man, the amount of tourists there. It's, it's very small. It's a small island as well at the same time. The roads are so packed with people. It's like we're trying to leave all people alive. You know, when you see something on YouTube or Instagram, like you want to go to that exact place and take the photo and then get out of there. You know, instead of like you sitting down and just like experiencing things and enjoying and just to stay there and just think about things, just to think about things really. So it's it's pretty, pretty sad, man. Bali is overcrowded, it's mad, it's insane, man. So that's the one thing I don't want to go to Bali anymore, but at the same time, I want to go there because like, I find a way to meet locals, like literally, I found a way to meet locals because like, me, for me, when I travel, it's all about the locals because like, if I, if I want to meet a, a Westerners, I, would, I wouldn't even bother to go to Southeast Asia, literally, I wouldn't even bother like trying to learn a bit of the language, I, I, I wouldn't even do that, so I would just stay here and then I just speak to a normal um, Westerners, it's that sort of Bali, um, Venice, London here, Indonesia, and yeah, all these places are absolutely ridiculous and what malaysia yeah now move on to malaysia well malaysia it's not over over like it's not overcrowded literally like some of the highlands um like like let's say penen i would say that's the most touristy island but it's not over tourist sometimes i feel like there's not a lot of tourists like in penan that's why people say oh um, penan is very very touristy but no i've I, I got the freedom i can go to the beach I can actually, I can just go to a quiet place, just sit down. Maybe I won't even come across them. Um, I won't even see a tourist like walking past. You see, that's the beauty about Malaysia, man. I don't want no tourist to go and support my Malaysia for me because like Malaysia is, is made for me, yo. It's made for me. I love that place. I love Malaysia. I absolutely love it. I love the place. It's absolutely fantastic, man. So, uh, like, I think Penan, Kuala Lumpur are the most touristic like places in Malaysia but other than that man it's a stunning place man it's Malaysia got so many things like and to it so that's the reason why I'm gonna go back to Malaysia I'm gonna absolutely experience in things like literally I'm going to like different different region and different district and different places I literally like all these places I'm gonna absolutely go there and I like, just soak in more into the culture I think like some places you will go in Malaysia you'll be the only tourist like literally there so like over tourism I, I, I don't want if you're a bad tourist don't go to Malaysia please don't do that if you're watching my video you're thinking about going to Malaysia and destroy it for me nah man and if you're black you're not funny like me and you're trying to go there and bang in public and trying to pick on the Asian chick without my permission yo these are some of the places that absolutely been destroyed oh of course man I was nearly nearly about to forget 
to mention Borca, yeah, Borca in the Philippines as well. It's the same thing that happened to Mara Bay, right? So global tourism literally destroyed the beach like in, in Borca, right? Literally, you know, Borca is a tropical it's a tropical island as well where a lot of like tourists go like just to relax and have a great time. But over tourism like it's very small. Over tourism literally destroyed a place like a lot of pollution, plastic waste, you call it man. It's it's insane. It's it's crazy. But the president of the Philippines actually banned like tourists are going there. They're trying to redevelop the place as well and trying to make it clean and I suppose it's clean now. And so yeah, over tourism it's a, it's a pain in the ass literally. So that's it man and um, of course man today the sun is about to come out and i'm starting to sweat a little bit because i'm wearing all in black yo wearing all in black like i'm in a funeral yeah over tourism can make me feel like i'm going to a funeral literally i'm a tourist as well man it's not i'm not trying to like exempt myself like in this sort of things but for me when i travel i'm trying to respect the culture i'm trying to respect the people the place i'm going to the environment and don't trying to pollute and even if i'm going to 7-eleven in southeast asia no plastic bag for me i'm just trying to help the environment right because southeast asia i'm not gonna lie to you that's why i love it but it's very polluted man when it comes to plastic waste and of course man like safety aspect as well it's crazy please watch yourself man watch yourself wherever you go man and of course man you're representing your country and you don't want your country to be class as that country that destroy my country yo that shit is mad so yeah that's it man so i'm in london as you can see tourists there i'm gonna go out and enjoy the day mm -hmm.